the figure below is a velocity time graph of a car so we have uh, the y axis showing velocity meters per second the x axis showing a time in seconds with the x axis so the first question find the total distance traveled by the car so total distance or distance um, distance will be given by the area the area under the curve and it is the area under this curve so this is the area that we need to obtain the whole of this area that is what is going to give us the distance traveled by the car now this one is uh, in the shape of of a trapezium this one is a trapezium and we get the area of the trapezium the area of the trapezium is obtained by a half times uh, a plus b times i that is how we obtain the area of the trapezium so when you get this area that one will give us uh, the total distance traveled by the car so we proceed so area given half uh, this is our a so this distance will be given by this will be 16 the whole of this length is 80 it's not 80 but 24 it's be given by 24 then the height is given by 80 substituting the values you get this is a 16 plus 24 multiplied by 80 it will give a half times 40 times 80 and this will give uh, 1600 meters as the distance traveled by the car <clears throat> let's go to the second part of the question we're supposed to calculate uh, the deceleration of the car uh, the part that is going to give us deceleration is this part which we indicate that is uh, the part that is showing uh, the negative speed that is what we refer to as deceleration so when we get the gradient so therefore deceleration is equals to the gradient and you're going to get the gradient of this part of this line i've shaded there gradient is given by change in y you can see the the y axis changing from 80 to 0 so 80 to 0 that is where the height is changing then the change in the x axis it is changing from 20 to 4 uh, to 24 from 20 to 24 so this will give uh, 80 divided by negative form which will give negative 20 meters per second squared so this is deceleration you can write it as 20 meters per second squared but it is good to indicate that this one is deceleration so that is how we solve the second part let's go to part b of the question uh, a car left nairobi towards the loret at 7 12 a.m this is a car at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour at 8 22 a.m the bus left Nairobi, uh, Eldoret for Nairobi at an average speed of 72 kilometers per hour. The distance between the two towns is 348 kilometers. Calculate A, the time when the two vehicles met. The time when the two vehicles. So the first thing we're going to do is to get the distance covered by the car by 8.22 a.m. You can see... Uh, the car left earlier at 7.12, then the bus left at 8.22. So between this time, between 7.12 and 8.22, the car had traveled for around, this is, um, let's get the distance covered. So distance covered by car, by the car, by 8:22 a.m. So the difference in time is 8:22 when you subtract 7:12. This will give around one hour and ten minutes. One hour and ten minutes. 
which is equivalent to around 70 minutes. This 70 minutes. So to get the distance, the distance will be given by speed times time. And the speed of the car is 90 kilometers. The time is 70 minutes. This is a 70 over 60. I to convert this one into hour. And this will give you uh, will give um, 105 kilometers. So this is the distance that was traveled by the car by the time the bus was beginning the journey. Um, therefore, the distance separating the two, the distance separating the two uh, by age 22 is therefore going to be obtained. The total distance uh, from Nairobi to Eldoret is uh, 348. Therefore, it will be 348 kilometers. Uh, subtract 105. And that distance between the two now is given by 243 kilometers. So the next thing will be to obtain um, the time, the time they used to meet. Uh, so time used to meet, for them to meet. This one will be given by distance over the speed. And this time round, we are going to use another speed that is the relative speed. Relative speed is, is obtained by adding the, the speeds of the two, that is 90 plus, uh, that is the speed of the car plus the speed of the bus. And this will give um, 162 kilometers per hour. So when you are calculating the time they used to meet, we're going to take the distance, which is the distance between them, 243 kilometers. We divide by the relative speed is 162 kilometers per hour. And when you do this uh, computation very well with the calculator you'll get uh, used one and a half hours was used for the two vehicles to meet and therefore this one becomes very easy now the time time of meeting will therefore be obtained by taking the time the bus left which is 28 22 plus one and a half hours and this gives uh, 952 9.52 a.m. and that is the time the two vehicles met now the last thing this question is to get the distance from Nairobi to the meeting point so to get that, we need to get the distance by the car. So distance uh, by the car in one and a half hours. And this will be given by speed times time. Remember the speed of our, the car is an 90 times one and a half. And this is the you get 135 kilometers. So this is the distance um, traveled by the car in one and a half hours. That is, one and a half hours is the time that was used for these two vehicles to meet. So therefore, distance from Nairobi, so distance, distance from Nairobi, so distance from Nairobi, uh, will therefore be given by 135 kilometers that is the distance by the car plus there was the distance that was covered by the car that we obtained 
and this was the distance. This distance that was covered by the car by A22, uh, we add that, 105. And this gives 240 kilometers. So that is how you're supposed to solve that question.